Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to today's edition of Intuitive Angling and much appreciated you guys taking some time out of your day to spend with me and watch the video. Really appreciate that. And guys, today, uh, for those of you tuning into this video, uh, you pick the right day because I can promise you guys what I'm, a fi what I'm fixing to show you here in today's video, you're going to catch some bass doing it. This is something that I've kept secret for ever since I've been fishing. I'm going to sort of let it go today a little bit. And uh, it's uh, one of those things that's taken me many, many years to really figure out and perfect this modification, a lot of time on the water. So I'm gonna share it with you guys today and show you exactly how to do it. And it's gonna be really, really good for fishing this time of year. Fall time of year is the, is the time that I like to use this technique. So we're gonna get into that in today's video. Um, also guys, two quick housekeeping tips before we get started. I just wanna remind you that I'm getting ready to start up my on the water lessons again. Anyone interested in booking an on the water lesson with me, just go to my Facebook page, Randy Blockett Professional Angler. Just shoot me a private message and I'll give you some details on that. And also please check out our fall fish the moment lake map breakdowns. I'll put that lake map breakdown link in the description of the video. This is a maps I build for fish the moment.com. It's a really good resource to get some good fishing spots on your favorite lake. So all those links in the description, really appreciate that. Okay guys, if you saw the video I did the other day, I was talking about one of my favorite lures in the fall time was the black super spook here. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to modify a black super spook to make it a lot more effective than the one that you can buy uh, on the market right here. So we're gonna get into that in today's video. And also guys, I will link, the, the one that I use, I you know, my favorite is, this, is, is the big one, the super spook here. I'll put the super spook, super spook link and my tackle warehouse link in the description of this video. If you guys would like to order a couple of them to try this modification after I get done with the video, really appreciate that. Okay guys, in my opinion, fall time of the year from all the topwater fishing I've done, you know, I've done it since for 50 years and I've fished tons of walking baits, the Mega Bass Diamante, Spooks, all the walking baits. Spooks been around forever. And in the fall time of the year, between like late September and early December, a black spook is the number one color. And a lot of people don't use a black spook. A lot of people, you know, stay with the more traditional shad patterns like this. But guys, I'm, there's something about, there is, I think it's a combination of the sun angle and the fall time of the year. Daylight hours are getting shorter and simply the, the, the rotation of the earth is different. And the, and the way that the sunlight penetrates into the water in the fall time of the year is different. And for whatever reason, I think that that sunlight angle makes it just really conducive to a black spook. A black spook works really good in a wide range of conditions. Now, I'll talk a little bit about the conditions after I talk about the modification here, but first I wanna show you how to do this modification. This is gonna be really cool. I've already got one set up here. I'm gonna show you how I do it. Now, the first thing you wanna do is just get you a super spook uh, that you don't, it doesn't matter what color it is, as long as it's clear underneath, because you're gonna scrape the paint off of it. So don't get those ones that some of some of the spooks have a uh, like they have like a bone finish underneath the paint. Like for example, uh, get this one here. Like the chrome spook like this that has bone underneath it, so it's not going to work. You, you really need to have the clear finish to get the thing. And simply take a knife. The knife's the easiest way to do it, and just start scraping the paint off the entire thing. And you're going you're gonna want to you're going to want to scrape the paint off the entire bait. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna scrape the entire thing down on this because it takes me forever. But I'm gonna show you how to modify it, and then I'm gonna show you the, uh, the what it looks like afterwards. So take it down like that, all the way to the uh, the clear finish. Now this is a a milky clear finish. This isn't the bone, but it's the milky clear. Another thing with that is when you do it with a knife, it makes the, uh, the a little bit rougher, and I just think it looks better when it's got a rougher finish. Now, the next thing you do, now, once you take everything, I'll just pretend that I've sanded everything off the spook here. Get you a black Sharpie and just go over this area with a black Sharpie. Now, you're gonna, obviously, you're going to go over the entire bait. And once you go over it, just rub it with your finger a little bit like that. And that's how you're going to make it. And here's what it's going to look like. Here, what, what I did is I took this very same spook, I you know took all the paint off of it, and this is what it looks like when you get done with it. It sort of got that gnarly looking dull black finish on it. And guys, there's some you can see some of the, the file marks and the uh, the knife marks I put in it there, but there's something about the color that is created by a sharpie 
against the scraped clear on there when you rub it. And then obviously the spook's a little bit rougher looking from messing it up. Guys, I'm telling you what, it'll get, if, here's, here's a black one out of the box right here. And here's one of the, the one I modified. I'm telling you right now, this modification, the black one that I just modified there, it'll get you 10 times more bites. I don't know what it is about it, but it's this, it's the tint or the shade or something in relationship to the sunlight angle and the water clarity. But this thing right here, they will bite the thing. Now the second modification, and this is a super important thing on here too. Guys, take a look. This is the stock hooks that come on a super spook. Now these are terrible. They're too small, number one. But the main thing is look at the size of these split rings here. These are some really big, thick split rings that add a lot of weight to the bait. So what you wanna do is take these off of here and get you some small split rings. See how, see how small the split rings I have on there are? They're like half the size of these ones that come stock with it. Get you some small split rings and preferably some type of a darker color like a bronze. This is actually a, this is actually a split ring that I put here off a of Mega Bass jerk bait. But small dark split rings and replace it with Gamagatsu G Finesse treble hooks. I'll put that link in my Tackle Warehouse link in the description. The G Finesse. These G Finesse treble hooks are super super light, guys, and they're super stiff. They're nano coated. And even though these hooks are big, they don't weigh hardly nothing. They probably they probably weigh less than these cheap hooks that come on a super spook. spook. So get rid of the split rings, or excuse me, the yeah, the, the split rings and the hooks. Replace them with small split rings, Gamagatsu G Finesses. Um, these right here, these these right here are number, I believe these are number threes, I think, on here, which is my favorite. And when you replace the smaller split rings on there, it gives the bait better action back and forth. You know, you can notice the difference between those heavier split rings and the heavier hooks versus the lighter hooks and the lighter split rings. So that's the modification of it, just like that. Guys, it, looks, it just looks like an old, you know, grunged out top order lure. Now, the next thing about it is when you're talking in terms of a black spook, what is the best conditions for it? Now, the best conditions for a black spook, guys, you've got a pretty, a pretty wide range of water clarities on it and a black spook will work a little bit better in the a little bit the uh, water's got a little bit of stain to it so the water visibility that i prefer a black spook is sort of that two to four foot range i'm not saying it won't work in dirtier or clear water two to four feet is about perfect for it if i if i get into a real clear water situation like the water visibility is five six seven foot clarity a lot of times i'm using a more natural color like some type of a shad pattern but there's something about that two to four foot of clarity and you can have clouds or sun. It doesn't really matter if you, if you have sun, you got to concentrate on the shade more. But if you, if you have clouds, you don't really need to focus on the shade. Ideally, I like to have uh, like a, almost a calm day with maybe just a tiny, tiny bit of chop on there, but just a, one of those type of days where you look out across the lake and part of the lake is glass smooth. And then the other part of the lake, you have a little tiny ripple on it, just a light wind out of the south, low light conditions, either early in the morning, late in the evening, uh, shady banks, I prefer clouds, but if you gave me the perfect scenario that this black spook works in, give me about three to four foot of visibility, give me a cloudy day with hardly no wind, and if the wind is blowing any at all, it's out of the south. And water temperatures being anywhere between, say, 60 to 70, 60 to 75 degrees in that zone. When you get those conditions in like September, October, November, December that I just described to you, you're going to get ate up on this black spook. I can promise you with that. And the type of areas for it, it just depends on the lake that you're fishing. Um, probably my favorite type of place to fish it on it in the fall time of the year are flatter secondary and main lake points. They work really, really good. Um, back in coves can be really good. Flatter coves like halfway to all the way back in a cove. Um, if you have grass, obviously around the grass is going to be good. Um, riprap can be really good fishing at parallel to riprap, but I really like to target those flatter points. Um, start about maybe 50, 75 yards from the point, work around the point sides and ends. And, uh, you know, if there's any fish there, they're going to hit this. But anyway, guys, try this modification. I'm telling you right here, this is a big deal. This is something it's, you could, you can do one of these. If you, if you just get one, take a, a spook out of the package, by the, you can file it down, get the hooks changed, do everything you need to do. It's probably going to take you, I'm going to guess maybe 20 minutes at the most, maybe, maybe 30 if you're really slow and you're really perfectionist. 
But once you do it, you're set. This, these things will last forever. You don't lose spooks. It's not like you break them off or anything. So once you do modify it like this, it's going to last forever. And occasionally after I use it a long time, I may, I may have to touch it up a little bit with the black magic marker, but uh, not much. But one thing to do to remember, guys, is when you do put it on for the first time, rub it in with your finger. That makes it adhere a little bit better, and it gives a little bit, a bit different finish on there. So... Anyway, guys, give it a try. Hope it helps out. Again, everything's linked in the Tackle Warehouse link in the description of this video, and we'll talk later.